It has been a while since the Sundra rework came out and we've gotten through the worst of it. The insane heal rates of Nanite armor at a reasonable rate and the Sundra's hypermobility got toned down. Maybe a little too much, but that's not what I'm here for. As an infantry player, something was still bothering me about deployed Sundra's. While doing some research for a much bigger video about Planetside's metagame, I decided to investigate the Deploy Dome ability in a little more detail. Let's talk about it. First off, what does Deploy Dome actually do? It creates a one-way shield bubble close to the Sundra. The bubble at max rank has 4000 health, and while it is active, it regenerates at 100 health per second, no matter what. Incoming damage won't change it, nearby repair stations won't improve it, and anti-rep utilities won't turn it off. If the shield does get depleted, it takes 20 seconds for it to go back online. Once that happens, it will come back at 800 HP and keep regenerating up to full health. When undeploying while the deploy dome is active, the 20 second reboot timer will start, meaning you can't immediately restart it by deploying the Sunder again. We've learned from Nanite Armor that uninterruptible health regeneration can easily become a big problem, and in my opinion it already is on deploy dome. Let's do some quick examples. Decimator. Cannot outdamage the deploy dome. Prowler. Can take it on slowly as the highest DPS tank in the game, taking 11 shots and needing 17 seconds while using Barrage. Underbarrel gets outhealed in a few seconds. Same for light assault rocket rifles and many other infantry tools. They simply get out repaired in a few seconds. This passive ability that needs no input from any players can provide a one way shield while out healing multiple sources of damage. This is bad enough, but if that's where it ended, I wouldn't be here making a video about it. You can also damage the deploy dome by just shooting it with regular guns, according to the hit markers. You can try at least, because the dome has an immense amount of resistance against regular bullets. Emptying a magazine of any automatic weapon will net you zero damage on the shield as it just out repairs you because your bullets get reduced to a single digit damage per shot. For some godforsaken reason, this resistance does not apply to sniper rifle bullets. Like every vehicle and anti-vehicle weapon, you do the damage it says on the card while shooting the deploy dome. And yes, there is a Vandal on screen right now. The Vandal's damage is classified as sniper rifle damage somehow, meaning Nano Weave also negates it. So if you want to take down a deploy dome shield bubble, take out the semi-auto sniper of your choice or an anti-vehicle knife, those also work great, and go to town. Also, the UI will sometimes only show dome health at 3000 points instead of the 4000 you do actually have. The health bar won't move until you take damage that dips you under that 3000 mark. I can't say I have any consistent replication steps for it, but it kinda just happens when deploying sometimes. But it's not that bad, right? Regenerating 100 health per second is only 10 more than the current nanite armor, and that isn't OP anymore. Yeah, not even that number is correct. The actual heal rate in-game comes up to 170 health per second. I made sure to not equip any extra ability on the Sunday to make sure nothing else affects it, even though I've tested it and nothing changes the heal rate either way. The hitbox of the shield appears once it has reached 812 HP and goes up to 4000 within roughly 19 seconds. Here's the math, which isn't accurate on the dot, because Adobe's timecode only operates in 60 frames per second, but it very obviously isn't 100 health per second. Did no one test this? Did anybody give a shit about this ability in any way? I don't really know what to even make of this. Was it intended for infantry weapons to do no damage, but then somehow sniper rifles take them down in a magazine? Did nobody have the time to check if the heal rate that is written on the info text is actually correct? Are most of these features just bugged, or was the mark missed that badly on knowing damage models and game interactions? My guess would be that the bullet resistance is on purpose, but way overtuned, and nobody noticed that sniper rifles have a different resistance value due to nano weave protecting specifically against them. As for the Vandal, I have no clue how it got classified as a sniper rifle, but that must have been an oversight from way before the Sunderer rework. Either way, please fix. Sundays being more defensible is good, but we've gotten to the point where fights freeze instead of naturally ending when defenders just hide behind a one-way shield. It is just way too difficult to chip them down over time, especially considering the 20 second cooldown. Even up to 10 or so players can struggle to take down a Sundra with Deploy Dome if they are not coordinated or dropping from a Valkyrie with 4c4 heavies. Here's a quick summary of every bug from this video, if all that was a little too quick. Health regeneration is 170 health per second instead of 100. Small arms damage is resisted by over 95% roughly. Sniper rifles bypass that resistance for some reason. The Vandal does sniper rifle damage. And the deploy dome UI can break and only show 3000 HP instead of 4000. 
Essentially, this is another reason to only ever play semi-auto rifles. Also, as I already mentioned, I'm working on a bigger video analyzing Plan Sets Meta game that this video kind of slots into, but it is probably gonna be another month or two until I'm close to finished. Rest assured, I'm not sitting on my ass. Goodbye.